we're here to talk about Pixar's uh, latest film, Turning Red. And I just want to start by saying I cannot remember the last time a Pixar film made me laugh out loud like that. <laughs> so tremendous uh, screenwriting, brilliant storytelling. Um, I thought it was as hilarious as it was heartwarming, but at times so mortifying. <laughs> like you struck the perfect balance uh, in, in creating those emotions. So firstly, Domi, what was the crux behind creating that those 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 responses and those feelings because like your 2018 short film i'm inclined to be a uh, short film bow i'm inclined to believe that you framed turning red uh, around your own upbringing and turning red almost felt like a bit of an extension of bow as well is that correct yeah yeah i think uh uh, where Bao kind of explores that like immigrant parent-child relationship from the parents' point of view, I really wanted to like dive back into that dynamic, but more from the kids' point of view, uh, because that was more personal to me, and I thought there was a lot of juice to mine there, especially between like a mother and daughter. Um, and really, I just wanted to make this film for that 13-year-old me who was struggling with puberty and my body and like growing hair and ex <laughs> ex you know like exerting smells and 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 all of the crazy emotions that I was going through and just to give this film to her and to all of those kids that are going through that and tell them like it's okay like all of the messiness that you're going through with your relationships with your parents with your body it 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 will pass and it'll 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 be okay so no, that's definitely the sentiment that came forward. And I loved one very subtle line uh, that came from the father. And I think it was important that it did come from the dad, a male figure in her life, that the color red is lucky. Uh -huh. I love that because otherwise, you know, it's associated with, you know, so many negative con connotations. Yeah. But you're, you're, you've done so well to just, you know, uh, deflate that, that miasma that surrounds it. Yeah. Um, so it's brilliant. And um, uh, because this is, it's not even, you know, um, it's very universal. You can't even say that it's specific to Chinese culture, but it's great that you've been able to incorporate that diversity in the film. Whereas, um, you know, even if you're trying to convey such emotions, it doesn't really mean that it has to be culturally specific. Yeah. However, and this question's for you, Lindsay, what steps did you take to ensure that that Chinese authentic authenticity and that diversity really shone in this film? Yeah, well, it was always there, obviously, from from Domi's kind of initial pitch and her upbringing. But I think, as as is true for all of our films, like there is only so much that you can depend on if you're if you're telling a specific film. You want to be also thoughtful that you have one opinion and you have one experience. So I think we did um, very early on. We kind of went to. Um, internal uh, cultural trust at Pixar, people who kind of represented either um, kind of similar backgrounds to the characters that we were putting on in the film, or um, even were from Toronto, for instance, um, and brought them into the room so that Domi wasn't trying to singularly represent everything mm -hmm. um, herself. And then we went external as well, and we had some great cultural consultants that were you know, um, specialists in architecture in Toronto or in um, languages and religion. And um, we really tried to make sure that we were being thoughtful about kind of being true and accurate to um, what it is to be a kind of Chinese Canadian in the early 2000s, but also, you know, for even her friends' characters and making sure that we were making sure that like the background characters were diverse and that that whatever we were putting on screen had at least a, a good amount of research behind it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, and it was clear to see uh, her classmates. It was such a diverse mix. We had a girl in a headscarf. We had, uh, for the first time, actually, a Sikh uh, security officer of the, of the school grounds wearing a turban as well. Um, so, you know, it was just really great to see that representation on screen. And um, you've made a lot of uh, Indian girls by the name of Priya very happy with this, I assure you. <laughs> Rhea is awesome, we by the way. Yeah. She's, a, yeah. she's a fan favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, Domi, I'm no expert in color psychology, but the use of red with green was inescapable. I imagine that was deliberate in order to create that strong contrast between May's environment and May herself. Yes, definitely. Um, that was Rona Liu, our production designer, uh, leading our incredible art team and being super thoughtful with 
um, how we're using colors to tell the story uh, of, of May and her mom. Like May's whole color palette is red. Her mom's is green. So from the very beginning, we're kind of subtly showing that they're like complementary, but also they're like going to be contrasting, mm -hmm. uh, you know, characters and they're going to be like bumping heads. Yeah. Uh, and and you kind of see that too, like when when May uh, goes from school, which is like more like pastel and colorful and bright to home, which is more red and regal and like traditional like we're, we're we're trying to use color in like many ways just mm -hmm. to tell the story like in her bedroom too in may's bedroom like the the wallpaper is is also like red and green kind of just to like really hint that her mom is like kind of seeping into every part of her life and her mom is always there on screen even when you don't actually see her mom you, you would see like a green element Mm -hmm. so, like in her bedroom Miriam's her bet which is kind of like her her best friend who kind of pushes her and yeah and stuff it's also green she wears a lot of green stuff I know taste. We, yeah we yeah, tried to like, kind of set that up too against Ming yeah it's like both of them are kind of pulling her competing <laughs> and kind of pulling her in opposite yeah. direction yeah. that was that was very evident um but you, you know, I find that you've really broke new ground with um, with this particular story. So I commend all the filmmakers um, for turning red. Like our central character May, turning red itself is is bold, it's brave, but it's unapologetic, and it just screams girl power. So it's <laughs> fantastic. I know so many people are going to enjoy this film, and all the best for the premiere for Turning Red this March on Disney Plus. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Take Bye. Care. Bye. <laughs> Mama's girls. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> it's gonna be me.